This video is about deriving the equation of motion of simple harmonic motion. We will derive the equation of motion of simple harmonic motion from a spring mass system because the motion of a spring mass system is simple harmonic. Now, in here, this m mass is hanging from the spring and the spring is balancing that force mg due to the mass m with a minus kx which where k is the spring constant of the spring and x is the displacement caused by that mass now that force is f is equal to minus kx now ma is equal to minus kx we just chunk in the value of force in here now we know that acceleration is the derivative of velocity and velocity the time derivative and velocity is the time derivative of displacement so acceleration is the double derivative of displacement with respect to time so just putting this in here which is equal to minus kx and taking minus kx in here and this is known as the equation of motion of simple harmonic motion here m is the mass hanging from the spring this is the acceleration which is written as double derivative of x with respect to time here k is the spring constant and x is the displacement caused by that mass which is equal to zero and this equation is known as the equation of motion of simple harmonic motion whenever you find an equation like there is a double derivative of some quantity which is equal to that quantity with a constant then that equation is a simple harmonic motion equation that equation represent that the motion governed by that object which is anything is simple harmonic now from this equation of motion of simple harmonic motion we can get some very interesting quantities like angular frequency and time period now from that equation we can write it as this this is also the equation of motion for simple harmonic motion now if we take this m in here this k upon m and if we take its under root that is under root k upon m is the angular frequency of that system which is oscillating with simple harmonic motion and if we know that the spring constant of spring and the mass which we are hanging then we can get the angular frequency by which the system will oscillate with simple harmonic motion and if angular frequency is this then we know that the time period 2 pi by omega and which is equal to 2 pi undo m upon k which is just the reciprocal of this and this will give us the time period the time it takes to oscillate once of that object which is moving with simple harmonic motion and if you want to know simple frequency that 1 upon t which is omega is equal to 2 pi nu and nu is the 1 upon t frequency that how many times that system oscillates in one second so this is how we get two very important things from the equation of motion of simple harmonic motion and the spring mass system is not only the thing which governs simple harmonic motion there are a lot of other things like oscillations in a youtube a simple pendulum and a compound pendulum and uh, many other things govern simple harmonic motion and one thing to always remember that whenever you find a equation like this here not always will be m or k here could be anything here will be a constant and here will be another quantity and whenever find a equation in here where the double derivative is equal to that with a constant that equation is simple harmonic motion you just have to take this place in here and take its under root then you can get the angular frequency of that system not only spring mass system but also that system and to find its time period just do it 2 pi by omega and this is what you have to write in exams when they ask you to derive the equation of motion of simple harmonic motion. So thanks for watching this video and always remember that math is everything.